Having kids changed my life. In fact, before my first daughter was born, I was a pacifist. <laughs> I'd done some Anabaptist reading. I'd done a lot of papers and what, and it all changed on March 20, 1987, when my first daughter was born. I didn't see any new books or listen to any new sermons. All that happened, the nurse took that baby girl, put her up on my wife's chest, I looked at that baby girl and said to myself, anybody touches her, I'm gonna be doing prison ministry from the inside for the rest, I, I, it's whole new calling. And you all know what I'm talking about. And, and just the affection I have, it just, if you haven't had kids, it just, they just, it's amazing, it's a miracle. And so after I had kids, God used it a moment, I wasn't being that great with my wife, and he said, Gary, Lisa isn't just your wife, she's my daughter. And I expect you to treat her accordingly. And in essence, what God was doing was applying 1 John 3, 1 to my marriage. I claimed it as a single man. Behold, how great a love the Father has given us, lavished on us. We should be called the children of God. And God's, I, I claim that as a single man. That's my identity. God says, Gary, that's true. You're my son. But it also means your wife is my daughter. And when I realized no one could love me more than by spoiling my daughter and no one could anger me more than hurting, neglecting, or abusing one of my daughters, everything about my marriage changed because it wasn't primarily about me and my wife anymore. It was about me and my God to whom I owe everything. And suddenly I realized I, hadn't, I had to stop just viewing God as my heavenly father on the day I got married. I have to begin viewing God as my heavenly father-in-law. Think about that. When you get married and you marry a woman in Christ, God also becomes your heavenly father-in-law. 